here, it's this one right here. You already finished it. Bob. Welcome to the Fantasy Goons Podcast, part of the Pucks Out family. It's time to skip the book and find out the info you need to win your league with Bobby, Davey and Brandon. Welcome, welcome, welcome into the Fantasy Goons. I'm Bobby, he's Davey, and he's Brandon. You can find us on the three major social media at the Fantasy Goons. Now let's get you the info you need Hey-o. to be a champ. I was late, sorry. <laughs> I was distracting you. I forgot, you. We, we've, it's been so long since we've done <laughs> yeah, this, it's been man. A while. And this is actually going to be a very quick episode. I've got to get out of here to get to a game in like 15 minutes. So we're going to run through this week's fantasy. And I think in some leagues, it's actually two weeks of fantasy in some cases because of the all-star break. Uh, how are you guys doing this week? Glorious. I've been good. Doing well. <laughs> good good fantasy on my end. Yeah, doing really I've been, well, yeah, so. I've been doing real good. Uh, you know, I mean, just to real quick, I know you got to rush out of here, but probably you try to rush out of here because I smacked you yeah. this week, dude, hard. <laughs> yeah, hard. Rough. You made a comeback at the end. It was like eight to six, and I was like, ah, oh, dang it. And then it was like, ended up being like 10 to two or something. Yeah, yeah smacked him rough. down. Now you're all the way down in fourth place. So, yeah. <laughs> so, but it's us three sitting at second, third, and fourth. Fourth. Will still sitting up top, man. Yeah. We're all pushing towards him, though. But anyway, Davey, how you doing, bud? I'm great. I'm Good great. To Glad to be back. Yeah. Quick p- uh, piece of news uh, Cooch is skating again. So get him off your IR spot, Ooh. take him into your IR plus spot. Because he's not available, but he's also not uh, IR eligible. So we'll see. Uh, he should be back maybe the next week or two. Uh, let's jump. It's a quick episode. We're going to jump straight into weekly impressions. We're back. Uh, uh, we're coming back from the all-star break uh, for this, uh, you know, when the game start up. Uh, and the pens were lighting it up before the break, I believe. And this stat could be a little bit wrong, but I believe out of the last 26 games, they were like 22-3-1 and one or something. It is absolutely insane. Tristan Jari has been lighting up for me in a couple of my leagues. I think he's the second overall rated goalie in fantasy right now. Absolutely amazing. Uh, the, tonight, they actually play the Caps, and I actually took the Capitals at, uh, at plus money just because, you know, the value's there. And that, that, that series is always good. Uh, Bondo, what you got? <clears throat> my weekly impressions. I wrote something. Crunch time. Um, it's crunch time. Yeah, uh, we're you know uh, when it comes to fantasy hockey. Yeah, we're midway through the season when it comes to NHL hockey, but we're talking fantasy hockey now. So we're not you know you're not you're not getting all the way through the through the season. So it's crunch time. You know you yeah. need to be ready, be be willing to uh, get rid of those guys that you know you've been holding on to this yeah. whole time, hoping that hoping that now if you if you're I mean if you're sitting up top and you're okay. You know, you can still hold on to those guys for a I little had to drop bit. A couple of flyers this yeah. morning, but um, but I mean, Smart. it's if you need to if you need to move if you need to make your move, this is this is your time. Those guys that uh, you know have, have traditionally done great uh, and are are disappointing you. Well, you know what's more disappointing uh, than dropping a guy that you like is losing in the playoffs or not making the playoffs, right? Yeah. So, yes, uh, so get, get rid of those guys. You know, you'll be able to get them next year if you love them that much. Yeah. So. Maybe. Uh, mine's yeah. quick. I just got a Colorado Avalanche ten and zero in their last ten games. They're now atop of the uh, the uh, you know the central. So it's uh, it's impressive to see them. They're uh, Colorado, Nashville, Minnesota top three right now. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. Just fell off. Uh, Colorado, yeah, ten and zero last ten. That's what I got. Uh, just impressive. Nice. They're gonna keep going. <laughs> yeah, fifteen and zero. They'll make it. <laughs> yeah, they uh they they're, they're taking advantage of those games in hand. <laughs> yeah, right. For damn sure. <laughs> uh, our pickups. I've got Mason Marchment, which is just I don't like the last name. It doesn't. It, <laughs> don't wanna, like it, the last name. It just it's hard. It just <laughs> I don't. My brain doesn't like it. I don't know. Uh, the left winger from Florida. 
22% rostered, plus 20% in the last week. He had a four game, he's on a four game point streak and two goals and six points on Sunday's win over Columbus. Get him while he's hot. I picked him up in a lot of leagues. He's in, he's in, in our high scoring leagues. He's a, he's a hit machine. He got seven hits the other night. So he's solid. Dang. He's four, yeah, Did you grab solid. him in that league? I grabbed him in that league. Yeah, <laughs> I grabbed him in just about every league that he was available. Uh, that I that I had someone I wanted to drop for him. It, just a great young guy from on a team that's just lighting it up. Point, uh, you know, getting goals all all over the place. Uh, Bondo, what you got? Uh, yeah, I'm and I'm actually about to make this move as we're sitting here talking about <laughs> it. Um, Anton Lundell, uh, from the uh, from Florida. I'm going with the team that's hot right now. Now, to be fair, this is a team that doesn't have games coming up, so. Uh, so it may not be the best yeah. pickup for immediately if you need something. Uh, but if, depending on how how everything's set up, I mean, he is he is lighting it up this season. I mean, playing, getting about 15 minutes of time on ice a game. Uh, but overall, you know, 10 goals, 22 assists, three power play points, uh, 248 faceoff wins, 19 hits and 41 blocks from a center on a team that is, you know, dropping eight goals on any given night. Um, you know, against uh, against Davies, you know, Blue Jackets. So, <laughs> um, uh, so it, it, you know, may not may not be smart to go go ahead and grab him for this upcoming week, but it's a guy that I'm definitely going to be watching. Uh, Noah Dobson, if you need a defenseman, uh, yeah, he's I've got good him right now. I've, got, I've grabbed him in a couple of leagues uh, playing for the Islanders. So you know, everybody's trying to you know get back in that defensive zone for the Islanders <laughs> right, right now. So, uh, so those are a couple that I, that I'd look at. Davey? I'm running Alexander Kerfoot. Love I grabbed it. him in a couple leagues. Uh, he's got six goals, twenty five assists, thirty two hits, twenty nine blocks. I mean, he plays for a top ten team in the Maple Leafs, uh, playing second line with Tavares and not Nylander. That's, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. He's got a lot of good people around him, good team. Uh, I expect him to continue it. Uh, one thing I would like to see him prove is his power play points. Hopefully he gets a little more opportunity there. But but yeah, I'm going Alexander Kerfoot. Grab him. Only 19% owned. All right. Uh, let's jump in into our stream of the week. Uh, I've got the Hurricanes. Four games on the road, but I expect dominance from them. Uh, I, I misread it and thought that I didn't have one on here. It was you who didn't have one. So I started looking for it. And I, was like, I, I thought, thought it was Hurricanes, Bond. But I guess not. It's me. I thought it was Bond that had Hurricanes because I had Hurricanes. He said that's, that's, yeah. maybe, <laughs> I was going to pick what, it. That's what threw me off is because I was like, oh, wait. I thought I, okay, I guess I, I was going to pick it. <laughs> no, I was going to pick it. Though. Dude, it was was the one to do Carolina and just speed this Carolina, up. Carolina. It was the best one. The best choice. Boston. I like, Bo- I like Boston with only three games this week. Uh, hey, Senators have five games. If you, Senators if you have some, five games. Some people. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, so I'm I mean, I'm, I think I've tail. got them tailing. Yeah, so, <laughs> so those those are, are good options. Uh, Calgary three games. Uh, let's. I mean, we can just go through if we're trying to speed it up. Let's go through some teams to probably avoid. Uh, yeah. the, the Ducks have one game that w- this week. There's a couple with two, but there's a lot with two. So that, I'm not necessarily yeah. a downer. Florida has zero. The Kings have zero. Uh, Rangers. Rangers have zero. <laughs> Sharks have zero. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Do like avoid 10, those teams. 11, 12. We have 12, 13 teams with two games as well. So yeah, those yeah. three team, those three game teams like Boston, uh, Carolina with four. Yeah, this is a big week to also pick up point differentials if you're in a league where like if you tie and it has right. to come down with point differentials. Right. This is a week to get it. Mm-hmm. For um, sure. All right, let's move on to uh, tailing and fading. I'm telling the Ottawa Sens, quantity, baby. <laughs> let's get it. I mean, listen, they may not win them. They may not. They may get shut out one they game, might. but you're going to get some hits. You're going to get some shots. You're going to get some blocks. Let, let, let's hit it. Let's hit the ground running. Davey, what you got? Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, they've won four in a row as recording this. Uh, they've won eight out of 11 games in the month of January. Three game, uh, three game week with Carolina, Calgary, Vancouver. So it should make for some good hockey. So uh, I'm going Maple Leafs. Tailing, I'm tailing a four uh, of four game week with the the devils right now Very good. um so uh i mean you know not the not the hottest team but again four games you see you had more opportunity than most uh and good options out there to go pick up they're playing the senators the the canadians the blues and the penguins and so they have some early back-to-back games on the on the early part of the, the week so 
go ahead and snag them up and then you'd be able to move somebody else in later if you yeah. now for fading i think we all were going to pick a team that had zero games zero. this week <laughs> so do we just want to say that if a team has zero games you should probably fade they fade get fade the team <laughs> with yeah. zero zero games just fade them. Sure. hard to score points when you don't have a point game to score in right uh, i agree I, with that That about wraps up this week uh good luck guys this is always a weird time of year with the all-star weekend we'll see you guys later Peace. This has been the Fantasy Goons Podcast, brought to you by Standing Stone Farms. Listen to the boys every week and join in on the conversation on the three majors of social media.